Aloha, beautiful souls. Welcome to A Better World with Adrian. Welcome back to the Ancient Elemental series. I am so excited and having so much fun with this series, and I hope you are enjoying it just as much as I am. This is a series all on the elements. This is a deep shamanic dive into each element, how to be in ceremony with it each day as a bedrock of your contribution to a better world. So that's what we're doing today. That's what we're doing in this episode. And I am so grateful to, to be here. We are diving into air today. And so if you know anything about me and my work, I specialize in breathwork journeys, and I actually grew up playing a wind instrument. I grew up playing the French horn. I went on to my undergrad and my master's and a successful career in classical music playing the French horn, which is all using your breath to make music. And so this whole episode is about the element of air and using the air element to make music of life. And so as these episodes weave together in this series, you will start to notice a relationship with them. You will start to notice, okay, what does this element mean to me? What does it mean to me based on the astrology? How can I be in daily ceremony with it? So I'm excited for this episode, for the air episode. And yeah, let's dive in, shall we? Hmm. Let us call upon the altar. Today on the altar, I have white roses representing a fresh start and the powerful loving energy that exists in all flowers. I also have my grandma's white orchid on the altar and it's not her specific orchid, but it is an orchid and it's the flower that she just, you know, exists in um, in my life. And she is here with this fresh wave of new beginning. You know, I, the element of air is on the altar. I have my screen door open and, you know, the blinds are blowing in the breeze and I see the grass blowing in the breeze. And so the element of air is on the altar. We have a white unscented candle on the altar calling in all of our ancestors, all of our guides, calling in this transformation, just transformation and deep holding of this space that this is a sacred space. And yes, it is a podcast and it's a transmission and it's a ceremony. And I have on the altar, all of my blue crystals, my blue agate representing the throat chakras of me, of you, of the whole world, may we unlock the truth of everyone, everywhere for the highest timeline of the evolution of humanity. And may this episode be part of that. So thank you, thank you, thank you, spirit. The altar is a thank you, is a reverent call, welcoming the sanctity of the space. And now let us use our life force energy, our air element. Let us take our three deep breaths to open this space. So no matter where you're listening, no matter where you are driving in a car, if you're walking, listening to this with headphones, if you are sitting down, drinking a cup of tea, no matter who you are, no matter where you are, no matter where, what time you're listening, let us take three deep breaths together to anchor in, to be present and to connect our energy. Close the eyes if it feels authentic. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Let everything from earlier today float out of your body. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Just allowing the element of air to open your body. Inhale through the nose, last one. 
Hold it at the top. Allow yourself to be suspended in time. Allow the air element to fill your body. Allow the divine white light to cover your whole entire body. And exhale out the mouth. Ooh, gently blink open your eyes, coming back to this space, what you are doing. We have arrived, we have arrived, and what a beautiful way that we honor the element of air every single podcast. Every single podcast episode, I take three deep breaths with you because it is so easy to move through our days without breathing, without being present, just like boom, 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 boom. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, got to do this, got to do that. Gotta, and it's like, whoa. Air. Air gets to be quick and air gets to be wide. Air gets to anchor us. And, you know, there's just so much going on in the world that can be so um, unanchoring, ungrounding, like, People, people are going through a lot <laughs> and remembering our breath the, is literally this air element. It's our access to the air element and our breath, you know, I feel like I've just started, started this transmission just flowing, but our breath, like the human body is such a powerful, powerful thing. And our body is the vehicle that our soul came here in, in this life. And so what does that mean? That means that we breathe no matter what. Like it's an involuntary reflex to breathe, just like our heartbeat. However, the breath is the only involuntary bodily function that we can actually change with our consciousness and therefore change our state so literally it's a highway when i when i lead breathwork journeys it's this you access the vagus nerve and the vagus nerve goes all the way from the gut up to the brain okay and what we do in breathwork is we access it and clean out you know any gunk that's been stored in your body clean out any thing from past lives, from your bloodline, like any trauma, like letting it all go and really getting into the subconscious mind using the breath, which is the air element. Okay. And so all of us have this self healing portal through the breath. If you haven't listened to my breath work episodes, I have two specifically, I think you would enjoy and get something out of. If you don't know anything about breath work that I lead. So I have one called, um, healing the nervous, it's a breath work and healing the nervous system. I think it's changing the world through breath work and healing the nervous system. Something like that is the title. And then the other one is breath work for the astrological sign. So for that one, I go way into like, Hey, this is your sign. This is what breath work can help you with specifically. It's like really fun. So We all have this highway of healing within us called the vagus nerve and using our breath, using the air element is how we heal ourselves. Okay. How we get into the subconscious mind. Like there are other ways people can get into the subconscious mind. However, I haven't found anything as powerful as breath work. I just haven't. And, you know, maybe that's just me being a Libra moon. And Libra is an air element and the moon literally rules the physical and emotional needs. But I'm also a Taurus rising and Taurus rising is earth. It's earth as fuck. (laughs) So it really is not up to, you know, breathwork can help everyone. Breathwork can help everyone. So what a beautiful introduction into the air element, the ancient elemental of air. So we already went through water. We went through fire. Now we get to lean into this ancient elemental of air. And the biggest thing about air is that we can't see it, but we can feel it. 
We can't see it, but we can feel it. Okay, so it's like you step outside and you feel that wind. You feel that wind pick up and you know something amazing is about to happen. You can also feel the wind die down and you're like, ooh, what's about to happen is a different energy, right? Like the only time I can see the wind is like I see the trees moving, right? I might be walking in the forest and the wind picks up and my hair moves and I'm like, oh, but I'm not focused on my hair. I'm feeling it on my face. Like one of the most happy places that I am ever is if I'm doing, if I'm going fast with wind in my face. So whether I'm riding my bike, whether I'm on a boat, whether I'm, you know, like jet skiing or driving my car really fast with the windows down is like, I love it. I love it. And then this morning I was at the ocean, just walking and my ritual. And of course, you know, that's where all the elements are meeting, right? Well, not all of them, but it's like, okay, we have the water and then we have air, the wind, and then, you know, the earth, my bare feet on the earth. But like, I just like closed my eyes and fire was there too, because the sun was out. And so it was just like the warmth coming down on me. I closed my eyes and I teared up and I just felt the breeze all over my whole entire body. And I was like, oh my God, like, thank you so much, spirit. Thank you so much for the air. And like, when we really get down to it, you know, there's air quality issues all over the world. And we're just coming out of an airborne global pandemic that was based in um, Saturn in Aquarius restrictions in fixed air the way people breathe. Okay. And then we are coming out of, you know, I don't know why this is coming through, but I'm just going to trust it. When George Floyd was murdered, he literally said, I can't breathe. He literally said that, um, while that was happening. And that was all in, you know, north node in gemini time and so it's really all of these things are linked together it's like this is all air it's air it's our life force energy like we cannot live without breathing we can go weeks without food we can go days without water we can't go minutes without breathing okay so i mean you know, you can train yourself. And I used to do underwater breath hold trainings. And, you know, if you've never done that before, please, you know, get a teacher, get a coach. Do not just go do that because it's, there's no funny business. You don't want to be caught in, you know, really deep water, not knowing what you're doing. So this is all though, it's, it's our life force. It literally keeps us alive. Okay, and all of the elements work together to keep us alive. And all of the elements are literally expressions of source, of spirit, of Gaia, of earth. And this whole series is just to develop and remember these ancient codes and relationships with these elements that will support you in your creations for a world we're proud of. And just as I say that, I feel the breeze come through the window. And so for all of you people everywhere, you know, no matter where you are in the world, no matter what time you're listening to this, I'm recording in mid-February, 2024. Um, I live on Maui now. And so <laughs> the wind is like very delightful in February now, where when I was in Chicago, it was like, you could take the, knock the wind right out of you. And just coming around a corner in between buildings, there were these um, wind tunnels. There were wind tunnels. It was like, you would turn around a corner in all these like tall high rises. And it was like this huge tunnel of just frigid, bitter, cold wind. And it was like, oh my God. But it's like one of those things where your face is so cold, you feel alive. I don't know if anybody else resonates with that. <laughs> This is a small tangent, but I am a biohacker. I don't love that term. I bio hone. I just hone the natural wisdom of the body and leverage it. And so I love cold plunge. And so I just, I love, 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 love when my face is cold. Air, the element of air, you can't see it, but you can feel it. 
it keeps us all alive. And, you know, it's the music of the lungs. It's the music of the lungs. We can't sing without taking a breath. We can't live without taking a breath. And so it's like, you can't see it, but you can feel it. The same thing with music. I mean, you can, I make a lot of references to music because I'm a musician. I'm an artist. First and foremost, I'm an artist of life. That's why I call myself a life magician. You can read a piece of music. But to feel it, to listen to it, it's something you can't see. It's something you can't touch with your hand. You just feel it. Okay? That's air. That's air. So it really is. And, you know, I'm hearing all these birds chirping, singing their song outside. It's like we would not be the air that we breathe is what keeps us alive on planet Earth. The birds outside would not be singing without air. Like I would not be able to play my musical instrument without air. Like all of this life force Air is life force, life force energy. Pranayam in the yogic traditions. So it's it's breath, it's wind, and it literally is all about movement, all about taking flight, all about, you know, water is water's wet. Water's like very purifying, very Oh, it's, it's very emotional. It's very emotional. And fire is very passionate and fire is like very searing and burning. Air can be cool or hot, but you know what it is? It's pure. It's a vehicle. It's a transformer. It it's like taking flight. It's like, <laughs> well, and here's the thing is like, I'm trying to describe something you can't even see, Right. And that's the thing with these ancient elementals and why I'm just leaning into trust with my channel for like, however, this is going to land is it will land for you in a specific way. And really, it's just my biggest intention is just placing your awareness on these elements, different ways to think about them, different ways to feel them and different ways to be in daily ceremony with them as, you know, very important relationships for making your vision. Like if we're out of touch with the elements, we're out of touch with life. We're out of touch with spirit. We're out of touch with ourselves because we are the elements. And air is our life force. It's without it, we're dead. And so being in, in this communion with breath work, with the wind, right? So you can see it, but you can... You can't see it, but you can feel it. And so when we come to the astrology, air is very dynamic. It's very, it's tied with data. It's tied with the mind. It's tied with communication. Okay. It's tied with movement. Like wind moves things. It just moves. It moves. All right. And so it has a lot to do with the mind space. It has a lot to do with the mind space. Like air is the ether. It's above. It's like we're watching things from above, from an airy place, right? You can get overly floaty. You can get super ungrounded, but it's like if we're all the way fully grounded, it's like we're not ascending, right? And so when I think about the polarities, it's like fire and air are... They're very across from each other in the Zodiac, fire and air, like fire needs air to live, right? And then water and earth are across from each other in the astrology chart. And so they balance one another out, right? Um, however, when we think about, I think that makes sense because 
neither of them cancel one another out. Like fire doesn't cancel out from wind and wind doesn't cancel out from fire, right? But if we were to put fire and water together, water destroys fire, right? And if we were to put air and earth together, I mean, if something's underground, it's not getting air, right? So I just love that. I love how the Zodiac just automatically made it so everybody can just be. And so when we think about in the astrology, it's Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini are the air signs, are the wind signs, okay? And so Cardinal is Libra, here to lead in breath. Libra's leadership, it's harmony, it's balance, it's justice all through wind. You know what's coming through is the throat chakra. The throat chakra, no wonder I had that on my altar. I was called for the altar. The throat chakra is so deeply tied to the air element because look, we're using our voice. Our voice is air. Uh, it's not watery. It's not fiery. I mean, you can have the fire in your heart while you're speaking, but it's like air is how we communicate. Air is how we communicate. And so Libra is cardinal air. Aquarius is fixed air. Aquarius rules the mind. It's very, um, it's very objective. It's data oriented. And then Gemini is all about mutable air. Gemini is all about learning, disseminating information. And so in the air element with the Zodiac, there's all these different ways that we start, sustain, or change using the element of air. And so when I just take my chart, for example, and you can apply this to your chart as well, Libra for me is my moon in my sixth house. So the way that I start things is air in my daily life. And, you know, I'm starting a lot with breath work. Breath work is still not that common, the kind that I do. And so I'm here to start with that and help people in their daily lives with that. Right. Okay. And then Aquarius is my ninth and 10th house. And so that's where I can really access the stability of air in my life and those elements of life, which is spiritual teaching, wisdom, travel, astrology, and my career in public roles. All right. Which makes so much sense because of course, breath work is a big part of what I do in my spiritual teaching and, and, and leading in my career. And then Gemini is my second house of money and income. And so of course I make money through this channel, but it's like, I share this all to say for you to explore your chart. Where does Libra show up? Where does Aquarius show up? Where does Gemini show up? And this is going to be, okay, these are specific places in my life where air takes the helm. Air takes the helm, okay? And we all have these places in our chart. So this is why I'm saying like breath work can help anyone. And by the way, you don't need to do breath work to be in ceremony with the element of air. However, it's the way that we utilize air in our bodies. And it has a lot to do with unlocking your truth. Like the breath, the breath is the biggest access point to the air element. It really is. I don't know another one besides literally the wind outside, but the, the only way we experience that is if we're breathing. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Ah. So something that's coming through really strong as I share this is for you to trust the exhale. For you to trust the exhale. So we're really just going to lean into Okay, we talked about the astrology. We talked about the general themes of the element of air. Now I'm just going to riff on how you can be in daily ceremony with this element. And it's like, be aware of your breath 
and trust the exhale. Okay. So many of my clients, so many people walk around and they're actually holding their breath and it's a nervous system response to holy shit. The other shoe's going to drop. Like I'm activated. I'm not relaxed. I'm not present. I'm in fight or flight, like blah, 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 blah. Trust the exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Trust the exhale because another inhale is coming. Trust the exhale because another inhale is coming. You don't need to hold it. You don't need to grip. The air element will provide. And it's just up to you to be in conscious relationship with it as one of your most important tools for this life, for creating. Because if we are holding our breath and, and in this constant gripping state and we can't create, creativity comes from relaxation, comes from play, comes from delight, comes from joy. And the wind, it's like chasing that wind, riding your bike or chasing that wind, getting on a boat and, or being at the ocean or doing whatever you can to be in relationship with your breath and the wind outside there's a very big difference between the air outside and the air inside, especially depending on where you live. Trust the exhale. The way you can be in conscious relationship with the air element is to be in daily relationship with your breath, whether that means full breath work journeys, whether that means box breathing, whether that means, you know, nasal breathing, whether that means um, I'm blinking Ujjayi in your asana practice, like this is so important and it's so simple. It's so simple. When I teach on these things, it's like people really think it's complicated, but it's not. It's so simple because it's so ancient. And it's these ancient ways of life that we've really gotten away from, which is why we've gotten so far away from the truth of love, prosperity, harmony, free will, freedom, peace, presence, joy, unconditional love on this planet, which is all the bedrock of a better world. So this is how you get to be in daily relationship with the element of air, conscious breathing. Set time in your calendar to breathe. And just notice throughout the day, am I holding my breath? Like, I'm going to be real with you. I noticed that I was holding my breath a lot when I first got on Maui. And I have never struggled with that before, especially with all the work that I do with breath work and like my whole history playing a wind instrument. And I was like, I am literally holding my breath. What is that? And it was, it has been the biggest activation of my whole life <laughs> coming here way more than I ever thought, to be honest. And so it's just noticing and coming back home to like, oh, trust the exhale. And it's this relationship with giving and receiving and knowing that you'll be cared for, right? Because people are like... If I inhale and I got to hold on to it because I don't know when more is coming and oh my God, I can't exhale because if I give it away, it's not going to come back to me. It's all scarcity expressed through the breath. So inhale deeply. Trust the exhale. Trust the exhale. So this is how you can be in daily relationship and ceremony with the air element. Get outside, feel the real wind on your face and be in conscious relationship with your breath. So something that you could do like once an hour, take three deep breaths. And know that you're in ceremony with the element of air. 
And for Pluto and Aquarius, which is the next 20 years, so this is 2024 till um, 2044. <laughs> transformation through fixed air transformation through the air element consistency oh wow this is powerful this is powerful oh. i hope this served you this feels complete I would love to hear from you how the air element landed for you. If you're an air sign, this is extra important for you. And if you desire to work with me, I have some really amazing ways that you can do so. And all of them include breath work because breath work is the great amplifier. Because what we do is we access the subconscious mind using the air element and the subconscious holds the keys to 95% of your decisions. The conscious mind only controls 5% of them. Okay, so if you don't get the subconscious on board, you won't create what you came here to create. So a few amazing ways coming up that you can dive into this work with me are homecoming. This is the three month journey for spiritual women deepening into the ancient feminine. The link to that is in the show notes and we start on February 29th. I have spaces available for one-on-one -on -one mentorship. I'm super, super excited to welcome in long-term clients who are here for the full life transformation. Like that's what I'm really excited about. That's what I'm in the game of. And of course, breathwork is part of that. The link to apply is in the show notes. That is for you if you're like, okay, I'm ready to change my life. I'm ready to step forward as a leader. I'm ready to do it in the ancient ways. And I get to have high touch support every single step of the way. I'm your personal, personal astrologer, personal breath work coach, facilitator, high performance coach, literally all the things. So one-on-one -on -one mentorship, I have spaces available. A few other things in the mix. You can come to Maui and meet me in person for a whole day of transformation, a dream day. And then I have these mini containers available right now called the systems upgrade. So I have several different ways that you can dive into this work with me. And I also have a membership where we do breath work on every new moon and full moon. So there are things at different price points. There's all the way from the membership, which is $99 a month up to my highest ticket mentorship, which is thousands of dollars per month. So it really is what access point and what level of transformation you desire. But these all include a very, very, very big important part is the air element because of breath work. And every transformation I lead is rooted in these ancient codes. I'm a shaman. This is the new earth way. So if you feel the call to any of those, check it out through the link in the show notes and join us. Um, yeah, I'm so excited to be calling in and welcoming in the amazing people that get to change their life through this work and specifically the element of air. Mm, I hope this episode served you. Go out there, take action, breathe consciously, invite the element of air back into your life as one of your trusted friends and colleagues in the creation path. Be the change, be the light, go out there and make a stranger smile because it flips the whole grid in technicolor, positive energy. Don't forget how amazing you are. Your ideas are unique and important. Go out there, be the change. I love you so much, and I will see you next time on A Better World with Adrian.